everyone, Lisa here with a quick tutorial on how to use the ClickUp content calendar. So first of all, it's free, big plus right there. Just go to ClickUp.com, search inside their templates for the content calendar, and all you have to do is click this add template button right here. It's going to open up your ClickUp and assuming you're already logged in, it will automatically just refresh whatever you're looking at and pop in that ClickUp content calendar right there for you. So it's a little colorful, which is kind of nice. It already has some published schedules, update required, approvals, writing. And again, the approval is really if you have a team and they're going to be able to do things for you. So all you have to do if you want to add a new post is you're gonna go over here and you're just gonna go ahead and say new task. You can go ahead and call this anything you want. So maybe. I want to do an InDesign tutorial um, and maybe I need a little bit more information than that. So I could script it out right here. So I could script out uh, in the description, whoops, what I am going to add, what I'm going to say in this video. So maybe the first thing I'm going to do is point out my top five favorite tools and then show how to find them, show how to use them, and then show shortcuts on the keyboard for them. Because sometimes going to, and clicking around maybe takes too long. So over here, you're gonna see where it says empty fields. And for categories, I am going to say that this is a tutorial. And for channel, I'm going to put this on YouTube because that's really the only social media template or location that I'm really at. And for link, maybe I wanna add, um, I'm just gonna put youtube.com, but I could add, you know, maybe if I have a URL for, I don't even know what, for a blog. Let's say I actually did a blog. I am too lazy to do a blog. So I am going to publish this, let's say on August 8th, that gives me a week to work on it. Um, share a URL for a website, again, if I had a blog site. So if I go over here to the top and I go to the date, I can go ahead and add a start date. So maybe I wanna tell myself to start it on August 1st and I need this to be finished on the 7th so that it can go live on the 8th. So we're gonna close that. So then I have my start and end date. Um, and then I can add subtasks if I want, checklists or anything else. Um, but when I close this, you're going to see that this is now an open task. It looks just like everything else. I have dates in here, I have YouTube, I have tutorial. And again, these were just templates that they had for examples. So if you wanted to open one of these and see kind of what they had done, they did kind of pretty much the same. Now, if you don't like these categories up here at the top, you can change this. Remember, it's your workspace, so you can go over here to settings and you can change anything you want. So if we go over to custom fields, uh, we can see that we have publication date, link, channel, category, shared URL, I could add a new custom field um, and maybe I want to add, um, let's say, I don't need, really need a phone number, um, maybe I need files. So maybe I could add something that says lead magnet because a lot of times in my videos I will create a checklist for people. So maybe I want to add that as something else that can be added on top of here. Um, or I could go ahead and do rating and I could just do a follow up. So then maybe when I go to look for new topics, um, I could see which ones that had a lot of stars, which one didn't. Um, I don't know why I wrote follow up. Uh, number of likes that a video gets. That's like a good indicator there. Um, and I could go ahead and say that this is a rating, or maybe I could make this a, no, I'm gonna leave it rating because that's a star. Um, and now when I go back in here, so let's go back into InDesign tutorial, I'm gonna see that I have some more empty fields because that's what I created. Uh, so maybe I just know on the past, uh, InDesign tutorials get like four likes. Um, lead magnet, then I can go ahead and upload a file over here or connect it to something inside Google Drive. Uh, and this just kind of helps me to customize this a little more. Um, but again, like I was saying with these tasks, maybe I want to change some of these tasks as well. Uh, some of these settings. So we're gonna go over here and we are going to go to list status. And maybe I don't need, first of all, I probably don't need approval. So I'm gonna delete the status. Um, I'm going to add a new status that says um, brainstorm 
or maybe ideas. So maybe it's something like, I'm not really sure, it's just an idea. I don't know if I really like it. Um, and then I can make this a new color. So maybe, oh, we already have a green. Maybe I will make this a blue. There we go. Um, I could add another status that says, um, uh, extra videos. So sometimes like this month I was sick. I should have made extra videos that I had ready to go. I didn't have any in inventory. So maybe these are just extra videos where they're not really my best videos, but you know what? They're good enough if I'm sick the next month and I just need to add them. So I can add these over here. And then when I save this and I go back over, let's see, I go back into here. Uh, so approval, so we'll just change this to ideas, say done. So that's just because we made a change. Um, so now I have ideas, I have writing. I can put these in some of those new statuses. So I can go ahead and put this into extra video. And now I have extra videos. Um, I can change one of these over here and put this into um, scheduled. So I can just kind of move things around. So really easy way to use the built-in content calendar inside of ClickUp.